Good morning everyone. I'm down in the basement already. It's just gone eight o'clock and I've been up since just gone seven. Um, it's Monday and I took a week off after Bora Bora and didn't vlog just to let myself get back to normal. Um, although not looking particularly normal right now, are we? And you can still see the remnants of my tan. <laughs> so annoying. It makes me look like Manuel. <laughs> Today is Monday and I actually have a very busy Monday today. I have to film and edit a video and ideally I'm going to have two blog posts done whilst vlogging and whilst work starts in the house for the living room. So it is officially phase 2.0 in the house. So we did the kitchen, which you saw kind of like the finished but not back to normal version of. So we're going to go and have a look in there, although it's quite miserable this morning. That might brighten up. The weather's been great. Honestly, it's been so nice this weekend. I went out for a walk with my mum and then yesterday Ali and I got up and went for a run. We found like a new route to where we live, which is across like fields and oh, it's so nice. So we did that as well. And then we've been catching up on Netflix, which is great. What is this little bit of baby hair sticking out? Let's just try and get rid of that, shall we? What should we do? <laughs> but this morning I'm going to do a quick, probably half hour, 45 minute workout just to get kind of everything flowing. I've started doing this really good thing um, called time blocking and I'm finding it massively useful. I'm still getting used to it, so I'm not quite sticking to my times just yet, but I had, um, what's it called, hypnotherapy a few, last week actually, for my spider issue, and I'm yet to sort of really test it, so we'll see how um, that's affected me, but the lady that I had come and do my treatment um, was just really, really like, I felt like I needed to be taking notes from her, and time blocking was something that I found really sort of like, oh wow, I should be doing this. So I've got myself a notebook, and every night before bed, I write out what I'm gonna be doing the next day. So I also wanted to say thank you for all of the love on my Bora Bora video. It went up last night, and, um, it was really nice for everyone to just be so lovely. I know that these trips can seem like these outlandish and lavish trips and they are honestly such a dream and I, I think I said it a lot in the video, I felt very, very lucky to be there. I don't go on trips like that all of the time. Um, that's a very, very rare occasion. Um, so I felt very, very snazzy to be going. <laughs> but anyway. I've got leggings on and a jumper because it's actually quite cold at the moment. Hopefully I'll warm up and um, I'm going to do a little bit of a 15 minute workout and then either some Pilates or some weights. I'm not too sure. But after my run yesterday, I don't need to do too much because we just kept running. We must have been running for like half an hour. It's great. I loved it. nothing more, nothing less from you. Stay the night then we leave when it's like nothing wrong It's alright with you No ties No cries No need So free I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal. Now, <laughs> you might be looking at my skin and thinking, wow, Lydia, your skin looks very, very shiny. That's because it is very, very shiny. Um, I have been, I decided to up my game a little bit. You remember I used to use retinol, but I used to use it like on the spot, just like a 1% one. Well, I decided to start trying to use it all over my face. Um, needless to say, I went in a little bit too gung-ho with it and I've dropped down to a 0.3%. So my skin is probably looking extremely glowy, but in a couple of days time, my face may fall off. So um, watch this space. But you might have already seen this in a few of my videos. I am so excited because they've just launched on Cult Beauty. So if you don't already know, I always shop on cult beauty i get some of my favorite products from cult beauty and i know that so many of you love it as well because obviously i did my beauty box which was very very cool <laughs> this is a product that i've worked on previously but i worked on um their balms and things like that and they've got a new one which they're launching which i'm wearing at the moment pretty much every day when i'm going makeup no makeup makeup if you know what i mean this is one of the products that has really cemented 
my love of this brand. It's incredible. And I actually found out about this from my friend's husband. I've told you, I think I've told you about this as well. Um, my, I gave a little bottle because when you say that you love something, you get loads of it sent to you. <laughs> and um, so I gave a couple of the bottles because I physically couldn't keep them to my friends. And they, I don't know how they randomly did it, but they both gave it to their husbands. One of them was Ken, the decorator, and one of them was Alex and Sam, and Sam had been using it on his skin, and Sam gets eczema, and so does Ken. I really hope they don't mind me saying this. I also get eczema, I get it in the corners of my eyes every so often, and this is the only stuff that gets rid of it. It's, I call this my eczema eraser, and I only know that this is good from them, because Ken will literally come round my house when he's finished it, and he'll be like, look at my neck, and his neck will be sore and cracked, and he'll be like, I really love that product. So whenever I get some, I try and get some for Ken as well because he deserves it. And so I started using it on my eyes. And if you're suffering with eczema, I would strongly suggest that you try this. It is the, like, I literally crave it. I can't, when I've got my eczema on my eyes, I carry it around my house. And whenever I can, I just put it on my eyes. And in a day or two, that eczema is completely gone. So um, I am trying to work out whether the retinol does... Um, sort of irritate it but now I just put it on every morning in the corner like this and I also put it underneath I use it a bit like an eye cream because seeing as it helps so much with my eczema I just pop it on like a normal eye cream and it just keeps everything nice and smooth and also completely like um soothed I just oh, I love it so this is one of those like nuggets that I just can't wait to tell you about basically. This video isn't actually about this particular product, but it's a brand that I love and I want to tell you about the game-changing products that this brand has across the board. So you'll be able to shop this and um, some other products that I'm gonna be featuring in the video on Cult Beauty right now. But as you can see, I use this all the time. I carry it around. If I'm wearing like my dressing gown like this, I carry it around in my pocket so that I can apply it whenever I need to. It is brilliant. This is the um, Lano All Over Everywhere Multi Cream Rich and it's honestly, it's amazing. Anyway, let's get cracking on the day. I grab my pad so I can start ticking off my time blocking and I'm in a good mood this Monday. I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Lummy's in a good mood too. She's been bringing in a mouse a day recently and uh, we're pretty sure we lost one of them last night because she doesn't bloody kill them so they run around our house which is a bit annoying, so it might still be in here, it might not. <laughs> so, bit of a madhouse at the moment. We've just got the electricians in um, to start work on the living room and I've been mid-filming. Ali is sorting stuff out around the house. Um, I've lost electricity up here, so I kind of can't continue filming my cutaways just yet, but post has arrived, so I'm gonna go and check out what's um, arrived at our delivery address. That's I've got one. What is it? Are they shoes? What have I got? Oh, that's cult. <gasps> oh my Yee! gosh, there's a lot of stuff in there. That's Cinderella. Oh, oh, I've seen. I something else. Oh, what? Oh, I reckon this will be the carpet cleaner. I think this will be the second floor. We're filming this on Tuesday. Yeah, it's in the box. Oh, wow. Holy shit. This is the cleaner earth. Christmas present? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, if I fit, I sit. <laughs> Is that your little Christmas present? You know your tissue. He's eating it. <laughs> <laughs> so sensible. Okay, cool. So this one can be stored. Where will we? These will. If you stack them up, they'll fit in there easily. Who's making Oh my god. Oh, 
So that we've got our robot hoover. Da, 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 da. So this is my little basket that I purchased from eBay to go on the stairs. As you can see this way, it fits over the stairs like that and it means that you can like put all of your stuff in the basket and then carry it up the stairs so that you're not trying to like put loads of stuff in your hands at once and then you're dropping it all and it's just easier. So I'm trying this out on these stairs and then I'll uh, put another one downstairs so that if we need to take anything up there as well, but it's proving handy already. Look at this, perfect. And then you unload it. Ali hasn't revealed his office yet on Instagram. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh wow, so when this video goes out, you're Office tour, office tour will be out. Oh, I'll link it down below then. Yeah, so you check out my office tour. I will do. It's only been six months in the making. <laughs> <laughs> the room is smaller than this. <laughs> yeah, Ali had a bit of a, a long-winded process with it, but it's sorted now. It was worth the wait, guys. It was worth it. But um, I'll link it down below so that you can go and watch it. But in the meantime, he's been using my dressing room as his outfit of the day pick. So I'm guessing that's selfie what... Time. Yeah, selfie time in here. Anywho, um, I need to film cutaways, so I'm gonna crack on. Look at my little basket, babe, it's so useful. I am so happy with my little basket. I've literally been searching for my camera all day. I haven't seen you in about five hours. <laughs> I've finished editing now, and I've filmed all my cutaways. In fact, the video's just gone live on my channel, which is great. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit stressed. <laughs> because we go away again in like two days time and I rarely ever do trips like this back to back and I'm obviously so grateful to be going on them but I have so much that I need to be doing right now and I'm kind of I get frustrated with myself because this is when I feel like next time Lydia just say no and I end up in this you know this situation where I don't get to do any of the fun stuff and I just worry about not getting like my work done 
Um, I've also got Alex and Sam coming over for dinner because as you know, Alex works for BA, so she's like been gone for like nine days. So we want to spend some time with them and it's just so hard. Like I just wanna just chill out, but I still have like two blog posts to write. I am so behind on my time blocking today, which is really annoying, but I'm hoping that maybe I can get that done tomorrow morning. I won't work out and I'll get up at six and just work, work, work on that maybe. There's been progress in the living room. Not that you're gonna like notice anything, but there's been progress. So day one of the renovation is kind of complete. Lynx is absolutely hating our new toy. This is the Volwerk Cobold VR300 and this is our new robot Hoover. It's currently learning the floor, the floor print of our house whilst hoovering it. Cats aren't convinced unfortunately, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, not huge amounts of difference in here at the moment, but basically um, what you can see on this wall back here is our new fireplace and this starts going in tomorrow. So we've got really beautiful exposed herringbone bricks going in the back. Then we have a stone surround and then a log burner going in. Now our house has a covenant on it. So this has been a really long winded process because we have to apply for planning permission to be able to have this done. But it's all gone through, it's all fine. So this is now going ahead. And we are thinking about having a TV in here. Like Ali has not wanted to put a TV in here, but I honestly think that we would regret it. Like cozying up by the fire and just snuggling under a blanket. I think that this will be really, really nice. So that's what's gonna happen in here. We are obviously painting it in Farrow and Ball Hague blue and Sarah has literally picked all of the furniture that's gonna go in this room. She's just really nailed this room and um, it's been super helpful for us. So we're just waiting to pick the carpet in here now. We're having massive coving put around in here. It's gonna hide the curtains. So the coving will come out and hide the curtains as well when we get new curtains. And we're keeping these sofas for now, but I love them. So I'm hoping that we'll keep them forever. Uh, but that is the plan of action for the rest of the week. Obviously we go away in two days, so when we come back we will have a fireplace, which is a little bit crazy. <laughs> We're not cooking though because we've got so much that we need to get done. We're just currently waiting for Alex and Sam to get here with a Nando's. So we're gonna have a cheeky Nando's and then probably watch some TV or um, some kind of like, I don't know, some Netflix or something, which would be nice. I just can't wait to see my friends. I really need to get into like cozy clothes because I'm still in my boots and leather leggings and that is not comfy attire. But yeah, look at the kitchen. I haven't even had a chance to show you this. I'll probably show you it better in the morning, but everyone walks in here and they're like, oh my God, wow, it looks so much better. I'm so, so happy with like everyone, like the way that everyone's kind of reacted to this room. It's exactly what I hoped for, that everyone's like, it's such a subtle change, but it's made such a difference. We've also ordered our new sofas. Um, these these two chairs are gonna be going down into the hallway because we've had that design through from Sarah to like get rid of the echo and just really sort of give that hallway downstairs a bit more of a grand feeling because it's a little bit empty. It's actually massively empty down there. So these chairs are gonna go either side of a huge floor to ceiling mirror um, down there. So they're not gonna be going to waste, but we have ordered our new sofas from sofa.com, which I am, um, we've got two new armchairs in sort of like a brushed linen cream color. And then we've got a two and a half seater, which is about the same width as this, um, in a more like similar color to railings, because this is a little bit light, this one now. So we just need something a bit darker. So we'll probably be selling this one or um, moving it around the house, I'm sure. In fact, this will probably go in one of the, bed one of the spare bedrooms. Well, we'll have a play around with it anyway. Sam, why don't you want your jumper in it? Why are you hiding? Don't. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't. You'll scare the kids. you scare the kids. Yeah, scare the kids. <laughs> that moustache. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot about your moustache. Oh. <laughs> don't, I didn't want to tell you more about it. Really oh, moustache. We've devoured our Nando's. In the dining room, we get, we're calling it a posh Nando's when we have like a takeaway and then sit in the really posh dining room together. But it's one thing you gave me. Dior. You know that mini you gave me. You don't want anyone to know that you're wearing a holiday. Put it on, Sam. Put it on. 
I've got a Hollister tracksuit. Sam, put it on. Oh, that makes it okay. Well, all no, so basically, Sam came round ours at the weekend and he, he was telling us that he wanted to buy this Hollister hoodie but Alex wouldn't let him buy it, so he bought it anyway. <laughs> and now he's, he's wearing it. Also, tell me straight. Oh my God, Sam, what are you doing? Hello. 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 This is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the tash as well. Oh, stop it. <laughs> It's like when your dad takes his kid into Hollister shop and goes, I'll pick one up for myself. Yeah. And so Sam was like going into his old place of work. Sweaty. Sweaty. <laughs> I was going to turn him off, but actually I realised he's still mapping. Yeah, so you need to leave him on. You just need to let him map the whole floor. But isn't he going to keep us up all, all night? Yeah, but he has to go back and, he has to go back and charge. Shimmy. He shimmies his little bum back into yeah, the charge I'm port. Yeah, I'm going to do that, play that. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> that, that, Sorry, what are the lyrics, babe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, what are the lyrics again? Shimmy, shimmy, what? Shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> That's definitely shimmy, not. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah. That's definitely not. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah. Shimmy, 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 yeah. What is the actual song? Shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Sha la la la. I want to play with y'all. Is that? Good morning everyone. Oh, it has been such a hectic morning today. I have been up since five. Um, we had the cats bring in two mice last night and I had to get rid of, rid of one of them and Ali had to get rid of one of them. And then we've had the guys come in to start building. 
the fireplace. <laughs> I'm losing my voice then. And I obviously am like creeping around the house because I don't want anyone to know that I'm vlogging. As you can see, my away suitcase is out. You can also hear the sound of them doing their work, but it's coming together. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you tonight. It's gonna be so, I feel like this always happens. Like we were going away when our kitchen was getting done and now we're going away when our fireplace, like the two most exciting things. I feel like all of it's exciting, but yeah. So fingers crossed we come back to a fireplace. I wasn't actually gonna do makeup today either. I was gonna have a makeup free day. I've got a couple of spots, which is totally not like me. So I was gonna give my uh, skin a little bit of time to breathe, but I can't be the only person that thinks that sometimes when I put makeup on, it helps dry the spots out and then they just kind of peel off halfway through the day. That hasn't happened yet, but that's what's making me feel better about having makeup on. <laughs> I've had so many questions about what I've been wearing on my lips on like my more like makeup free kind of days. I mean, not makeup free, like no makeup makeup. That's what I call it. And on the days that I don't tend to wear as much makeup, if I can find my lip liner. Now we've always spoken about how my lips don't really have like a defined line, especially when I go away on holiday. Every time I go away on holiday, because I get tanned here and it accentuates the shadow, I get so many comments like, oh, you've had your lips done. Like, no, I haven't. Basically, what I've been putting on my lips is MAC in Spice. I'm gonna use a mirror though. I'm not gonna use you because that's just asking for trouble. Oh, you can see the little Polaroid from mine and Ali's wedding. I keep it on my mirror. I'm so cute. <laughs> Basically, I just line my lips gently. I'm not gonna talk whilst I do this because that's, again, just asking for trouble. So I just kind of take the lip liner all over the lips. And then I'm using the Lano Hydrating Lip Luminizer and this is shade Desert Glow. Now, obviously I told you about um, the all over cream that I use every single day yesterday. And you've known that I've been a fan of Lano for ages now. I literally have one of their normal 101 ointments pretty much everywhere. This is their strawberry balm. I have banana ones, I have tinted ones, I have the original ones. They're knocking about everywhere because I'm someone that likes to be moisturized. It was really funny, we had a conversation when we were away. And I was shocked by how many girls don't moisturize every day. I moisturize every day. It's because I have to, but I moisturize every single day. I do my lips, I do my eyes, I do my body, I do my feet. Sometimes I put uh, creams and ointments all over my feet and then put some really snazzy socks on and go to bed like that. So I wake up and my feet are so smooth. You should try that, it's so good. You can do it with the um, 101 ointment and with the all over cream as well. I wear these a lot when I'm having no makeup makeup days especially the shade rhubarb in the tinted balm. This is obviously something a little bit more illuminating, a little bit more glossy. So it's been working really well when um, I'm just doing sort of like simple makeup like this. So I literally skirt it on. And that is basically it. It gives my lips a really nice shot of color, but also really illuminates them, gives them a little bit more gloss, a little bit more shine. And um, it's not like wearing a kind of lipstick or anything like that, or a lip gloss. It's super comfortable and super hydrating. These are available in two colors and they are exclusive to my babes, Cult Beauty. And you can find them on there now. Lano has launched on there. So if you were looking for places to pick Lano up, you can now pick them up on Cult Beauty. So I'll link that down below. This is obviously super exciting. Um, I wish I could have put this in my beauty box because I would have loved to have done that. So that's my look of the day. I also had so many questions about my hair. I've literally been using the GHG Platinum Plus Styler. I can't use the wide one anymore because my hair is too short. Um, so I've definitely um, been putting in all of my waves using the Platinum Plus Styler and I love it. I just alternate it over just that way and then that way and it gives it a nice little bit of like, I don't know, texture, I think. I really like my hair at the moment. I feel like, yeah, really happy. Some of the bits that have arrived today and then I've got another parcel that is arriving later on. That's got my new coat that I'm taking to Finland and something snazzy for winter as well. Something that I've wanted for ages, which I'm really excited about. What are you doing? Messaging um, the plumber about the shower. Because oh. he's asking about how it was. Have you told them what happened that day? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, yeah, well done for reminding me, babe. I might have chia seeds in my teeth. 
So, we all remember the time when Ali spilt paint on the driveway. Oh, is that my order? Yeah, go and get it. Oh, gosh, hold that thought. I just started telling you guys the story again and I wasn't even recording but <laughs> remember the time that Ali spilled paint on the driveway and everyone had a go at me for, mm. for having a go at Ali well the day that we got back from Bora Bora we both went to have a shower because we hadn't showered in two days and um, the shower wouldn't come on and we couldn't understand why. So whilst Ali is trying to get the plumber to come round and fix the shower, despite the fact that we've got like four other showers that we could have used, there was no real urgency to use this shower. And um, next thing I know, I don't know what he did. I think he must have turned it on and left it on and it was turning the shower on, but it wasn't coming out because the button was stuck. So the pressure was building up behind the, the unit ready to make it come off and then all of a sudden it did just come off water was going <coughs> both hot and cold taps <coughs> Ali freaks out his method to try and stop it was to put a towel over it <laughs> like the towel was going to stop the water from coming out I was like get out the way get me a bucket because also um, our plug doesn't drain like super fast <laughs> So the water's like coming up in the bottom of the shower and it's gonna flood our bathroom. I'm like, get me a bucket. Carrie comes up the stairs. Carrie and I are getting soaked. We're taking it in turns with the bucket. Ali is freaking out. Like literally, I've never seen him freak out like that in my life. He was like, whoa. <laughs> it was so funny. Bucket, bucket! Yes. <laughs> That is literally what he was doing. I have never seen anything like it. And me and Carrie are just bailing the water out of the bottom of the shower, bailing it out, bailing it out until he can find where you shut the water off. It must have taken him 10 minutes to find where he shut, you could shut the water off. Well, I found how to shut off the hot and yeah. the cold. Yeah. And that was enough to allow the shower to self drain mm. so it didn't flood. Yeah. And then we had to wait another 10 minutes for the plumbers to mm -hmm. come out on the emergency to actually shut it off from outside. Yeah, I dread what our uh, water bill is going to be this month. But it's probably about 10 baths yeah. worth of water that come out. It was coming out thick. Oh my God, I was seriously worried. And like we had towels all I over the thought, floors. I was just worried about flooding downstairs. And yeah. above there is like the server room. Mm. And I was thinking that's a lot of... So, obviously, I remained calm this time. I did not... I was actually on the way out the door to go and get my nails done. So not only that, I almost missed my nail appointment. I mean, if I'd missed my nail appointment, there would have been trouble then. <laughs> However, I didn't miss my nail appointment. So I was very, very calm yes. and um, kept my ish together. And uh, yeah, it all got sorted. But so when I was saying that stuff like this happens all the time with Ali, this is a mere drop in the broken shower ocean of Ali Gordon. <laughs> and this is not the first time that he has flooded our house either. In fact, the first time you actually did flood our house because it went through the ceiling into the living room and the kitchen. I'm gonna try to do plumbing before. When you tried to do plumbing before. I'm so, good at plumbing. we've reached a resolution with this whereby Ali is allowed to do electrical stuff around the house and Ali's allowed to do sort of like handyman jobs. We don't touch the plumbing anymore. There is no touching of the plumbing because if you screw up the plumbing, it, it can get really, really bad. It gets messy. It gets, ve it gets very wet, very quickly. Mm -hmm. And Ali doesn't cope well under that kind of pressure. <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I forgot to tell you guys about that. But uh. The men have left for the day and we are now delayed because I feel like this is, <laughs> this is another moment. For the last two weeks, I've been trying to tell Ali that we should have a TV in the living room. Hello, little yummy. Coming out of the cupboard. Hi. Um, yeah, so I've been like, Ali, I really think it'll be a mistake. By the way, when I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Cal. He's that over there. Hi. Hi behind the little bush there, that's Cal. Definitely not a bush. <laughs> <laughs> Plant. Uh, <laughs> so I've been trying to say to him, I think we'll regret it when we're sat by the fire, toasting our tootsies, not being able to watch Countdown on the TV. 
and he was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, I don't, don't think we should have a, a TV in there. And then as they're fitting the chimney breast into the living room today, I said to Ali, I really think we're making a mistake. So last minute, Ali changes the plans and now we have the groove cut out of the chimney breast so that we can put our TV recessed into the chimney breast. So now we're delayed by a day. And I maximised that. Yeah, but we should have just planned ahead, Ali. That's what we should have done. We should have just planned ahead and you should have listened to me because... He, he knows he's being bad. Yeah, and look, he's gone. He's gone. This is what he does when, when he knows that I'm right. Good riddance. <laughs> Good riddance, Lumi. Lumi's <laughs> livid. Look at her. She's like, Daddy, come back. So all of my deliveries have arrived now. All of my shoes that I'm going to be taking with me. So these two pairs are from Net-a-Porter. I got some moon boots and some Sorel. These Sorel I'll probably wear here, like living around here when I go for walks. And then I also got some of these, these little cute Inuiki. Inuiki, I think that's how you say it. These are from Sock Fashion. And I did an order from there. I did an order from net porte And I also did an order from Flannels. I've got more of the stuff up here. So I ordered this gorgeous knitwear piece from Mari, Mari Duna, which is handmade knitwear. And it also tells you who actually knitted it. So that clip may have stopped a little bit abruptly. I saw that there was a bug on my camera and it made me like just jump and I then threw my camera and I was like trying to get hold of my camera and it fell on the floor and it smashed the screen. I can still use the screen, it's still working but it's got a big crack in it and I obviously am vlogging Finland so I have to get a new camera before I go. This is obviously a setback that I was not counting on but to be honest, I'm just not gonna let it affect me. I'm not gonna let it stress me out. But anyway, as I was saying, so some more of the things. You see, this is the bug. He's on the bloody cardigan. This is the bug. Don't even know what that is, but they look angry. Ali, yeah. can you come and get rid of the bug, please? Yeah, it's on the cardigan. It's on the cardigan. can go now. <laughs> These cardigans, they are handmade and they actually tell you the person that made the cardigan on the tag, which is lovely. I love the brand Elliot and I just love the statement sleeves on this. A little bit poofy, something to keep me warm as well and it's got pockets. And this is my super warm coat that I've got myself to take with me to Finland. This is from Burberry and I picked it up from Flannels and it feels super cozy as well. And then it's got the Burberry check on the inside um, and just super cozy. The problem that I was finding with a lot of the jackets was that they had real fur like trims to the hoods and I don't know, I'm just not really about real fur. And then I also, this is the kind of one that I treated myself to. This is the uh, Burberry, I think it's the Kensington Mac, but the black one and it's the mid-length one. I've got the short length in the sort of beigey color, but I've always wanted the black one in the long length. Burberry Macs are just so festive and an all black outfit with black boots, those Chloe ones there, will look so, so nice with this. So I did pick it up, which was very naughty. So I've got some cashmere joggers on at the moment, but actually I feel like they don't look too bad with it. So I might take these with me just for like warm, cozy evenings. I've popped my moon boots on that I got from Netta Porte. These are the all black version without the shiny bits, which I really like. Um, and then this is the cardigan. I think you can like tie these bits up um, so it's a little bit more cinched in. But I love the color of this and I love the big sleeves. Just super, super cute. They do these in loads of different colors and loads of different styles as well. I think there's a lime green one on there that I think is really nice so yeah very happy with this I've had to take my jumper off to show you the Elliot cardigan but this is so nice um, I'd probably put a less sort of knitted top underneath maybe something like um, just a long sleeve top rather than this cami because I'd be cold but I really like the statement sleeves I love the length of it obviously not with my cashmere joggers because it's the wrong type of grey but I think that this is such a nice cardigan this would just go nice with jeans and stuff like that. So yeah, trying not 
to flash a nipple to you guys, okay? <laughs> it is a bet. This is the Burberry puffer coat as well. And I really like this. It's nice and lightweight as well. It's not too, it's not too like heavy. Um, so I think I get a couple of layers underneath there as well. Really happy with that. Looks good with the boots. Love it. I'm trying on an outfit, but this one has decided she wants to go to sleep. This is what you do, you realise when mummy gets her suitcase out that we're going away. And Auntie Cowie's going to be looking after you. Bless her. <laughs> little baby bottom. Your little sausage pot. So it might be a little bit hard for you to see this outfit in the dark, but this is the Burberry Mac. I was trying to show you this, but um, Lumi came and sat on my lap, so I'm now covered in cat furs, but you're going to see this stuff throughout winter here on my channel. I'll be styling this up as soon as I get back. This isn't going to be coming to uh, Finland with me because it's just not um, a practical coat to wear. And um, this hat is also from Sock Fashion. This is a um, lack of colour hat. They have all of the lack of colour hats on uh, Sock Fashion, so I'll link these down below. I got it in beige as well. These are the Sorel boots. Now, just for reference, these are sized incorrectly on net a -Porte. So I got a size eight, US size, and they say that that is a size five, but it's not in Sorel. These are actually a size six. However, I think it's probably gonna be good for big socks. So um, not too bad, but yeah, these are a size too big for me, unfortunately. And these are the Inuiki boots that I got from Sock Fashion as well. And these are just a lower boot the days when it's maybe not as snowy because we're still not sure if we're going to get snowfall when we're there. But still, very, very comfortable. Nice little platform to them as well, so they make me feel like I'm nice and tall. But anyway, I am going to crack on and pack up my winter suitcase ready for our trip tomorrow. Show me a good time. I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. like that I've got a new camera so I'm gonna charge that up put this one into the graveyard where I keep all the other G7X's that I've uh, been through I, I go through about four a year and uh, this is the first one that I've actually broken myself there's nothing quite like a fresh Canon G7X the quality is always so good to begin with and it deteriorates so quickly but I'm not gonna moan about them because they are the best cameras to vlog with and I probably needed one considering we are literally a matter of days from starting Christmas with the MGs. My version of Vlogmas, so um, I'm really excited about that. Yeah, it's gonna go well. So anyway, as I was saying, I'm slowly packing stuff down into my suitcase now. Uh, some dinner is in the oven and hopefully I'll be good to go. So I'm fully aware that this is the longest video in the history of vlogs. Um, Sounds like our Hoover is still going. <laughs> it's been in for two and a half hours and he stopped for a while. It's because he just wanted to be restarted. He's covered, do you want me to say how much he's covered? I get a lot of notifications and it says like little G-Wag. Oh yeah, Ali's named him G-Wagon. So, go here. It says that today he's cleaned 109 meters squared and he's been cleaning for two hours and 15 minutes. Guys, giving you a run for your money. <laughs> well, I would just give you the quickest update ever on this room, just to show you where we are. So the chimney breast has started to be put together. This was supposed to be boarded, ready for plastering and rendering today, uh, tomorrow, unfortunately, because I finally managed to talk Ali into putting the TV screen up here. Uh, they had to build in the bracket for that. So that's now done. We need to get a TV for up there. I know that we'll be really happy about it. This is our log burner down, down here. We've gone for a widescreen one so you can see all of the flames. And then you can see our herringbone brickwork that is going on in there, which I love. I just think that's so cute. Um, loving seeing it to scale as well. Lynx is already attacking the sofas. And um, 
we were really worried that it was going to feel like quite small in this room but it already feels perfect like it's such a great size <gasps> so exciting literally so exciting so I, I can't wait to see what this looks like when we get back but i am going to leave the vlog here so um this doesn't get any longer but i will see you in finland Ooh. say bye say bye bye good boy you didn't say it but you came for for cockla good boy